Hi everyone, I'm Adam from Ads Productions. Today we're going to break down how artificial intelligence actually works. Not just what it does, but how it really functions under the hood. Let's get into it. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is a broad term, but most of what we use today falls under a specific branch called machine learning. That means instead of programming a computer with step-by-step -step instructions, we teach it to learn patterns from data. The most powerful type of machine learning today is called deep learning. It uses something called a neural network, which is a system of algorithms inspired by how the human brain works. But instead of neurons and synapses, we use math and code. A neural network is made up of layers of nodes, which you can think of like tiny decision makers. Each node takes in numbers, does some calculations, and passes the result to the next layer. The first layer takes in the raw data, like the pixels of an image. The last layer gives us the final answer, like whether that image is a cat or a dog. In between there are hidden layers. These are where the real learning happens. Each connection between nodes has a weight, which is just a number that tells the network how important that connection is. The network adjusts these weights during training to get better at making predictions. Training is the process where the AI learns. We show it lots of examples like thousands of labelled images, and it tries to guess what each one is. At first, it gets a lot wrong, but each time it makes a mistake, it calculates how far off it was using something called a loss function. Then it uses a method called backpropagation to figure out which weights need to change and by how much. To actually update the weights, it uses uh, an optimization algorithm, usually something called gradient descent. You can think of this like trying to find the lowest point in a valley by taking small steps downhill. The AI keeps adjusting its weights step by step until its predictions are as accurate as possible. Once the model is trained, it can make predictions on new data it's never seen before. That's how AI can recognize faces, translate languages, recommend videos, or even drive cars. Let's look at two real world examples to make this clearer. First, ChatGPT. Imagine you're texting a super smart robot that has read almost everything on the internet. You type a question like, what's the capital of France? And it replies, Paris. But how does it know that? ChatGPT was trained on billions of sentences from books, websites, and conversations. It didn't memorize answers, it learned patterns in how language works. When you ask a question, it doesn't search the internet. It predicts what words are most likely to come next based on everything it learned. It's like supercharged autocomplete, powered by a special kind of neural network called a transformer. Now let's look at image generation, like DAL-E. Say you type, a cat wearing sunglasses on a beach. The AI reads your sentence and breaks it down into concepts, cat, sunglasses, beach. It was trained on millions of images with captions, so it learned what each of those things looks like. Then it creates a brand new image by combining those ideas in a realistic or artistic way. It doesn't copy existing images, it generates one pixel at a time based on what it learned. So while AI might seem like magic, it's really just a lot of math, linear algebra, calculus and statistics running on powerful computers and trained on massive amounts of data. I'm Adam from Ads Productions. Thanks for watching.